Hello everyone. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create this cool animation in Blender. So let's get started. Go ahead and delete everything from the scene by pressing A, X and then enter. Add in a cube. Position it and scale it on the X axis. Now add in a cylinder. Press R, X, and then 90 to rotate it. Now press G and Z and position it. Press S and scale it to the required size. Press 3 on numpad to go to side view. Press S and Y and scale down on Y axis. Loop select the out vertices by holding Alt and clicking on any edge vertex. Press E then S and 0.3. Go to a side view and press E, Y, and then extrude it a bit. Add loop cuts to maintain the shape. Add in a subdivision surface modifier. Adjust any area if needed by adding loop cuts. Do not overdo this as this can slow down your workflow. Select the cube we made. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Add in loop cuts to maintain the shape. Select the cylinder we made. Press F3 on keyboard. Type cursor. Select Snap Cursor to select it. This will position the cursor at the center of the selected cylinder. Now add another cylinder. Press R, X, and then 90. Scale it if needed. Now with this cylinder tab into Edit Mode. Select the front face and press F3. Select Cursor to select it. Now add in another cylinder. Press R, Y, and 90. Select the face and extrude it to the length you want. Position it the way you need. Scale it if needed. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Add loop cuts to maintain shape. Select the end edge loop of end face by alt and clicking. Press E and S and then 0. Do this for both faces. Add loop cuts at end faces to keep shape. Select the end loops and by ALT clicking. Press N to get a side bar. Increase the mean crease value to 1. Add in a bevel. Set the limit to angle. Play with the offset and segments. Enable shade smooth. Press 7 on numpad to go to top view. Position the cylinder as you need. Apply all the modifiers if you want. Now let's animate it. 
But before that if you like my videos L, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell notifications as it will help me a lot. Select the handle cylinder. At frame 1 press I and insert a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 30 and press R, Y and minus 180. Then press I and insert a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 60. Copy the keyframe at frame 1 and paste it. Or you can also press R, Y and then 180. Decrease the number of frames to 59. We are not choosing 60 because we want to loop the animation. Copy the keyframes and paste them on one frame further. This will make the handle last for another frame at the edges that moving rapidly. Now select the circular disc. Go to frame 1 and insert a location keyframe. Go to frame 60. Press R, Y and then type 360360. Insert a rotation keyframe. Now add in a UV sphere. Change the number of segments to 16 and the rings to 8. Position it by pressing G. Also scale it by pressing S. Position it as just hitting the handle. Go to frame 1. Insert a location rotation keyframe. Go to frame 16. From the transform the pivot tab select 3D cursor. Now press R and Y and position the ball in the Z axis line. Press I and insert a location rotation keyframe. Go to frame 30. Rotate the ball as if it is just hitting the handle. Insert a location rotation keyframe. Go to frame 45. Copy the keyframe at 16 and paste it. Go to frame 60. Copy the keyframe at frame 1 and paste it. Add in a subdivision surface for the ball. Also enable shade smooth. Press F3 and snap the cursor to world origin. Add a plane and scale it. Now add in a camera. Press CNTRL plus ALT plus numpad 0 to lock the camera to current view. Press 7 and go to top view. Add in a cylinder. Scale and position it in the back half of the cube. Hide the cube by pressing H. With the cylinder selected tab into edit mode. Select the top face and extrude in in Z direction. Go to object mode. Press Alt and H to unhide the cube. Add a mirror modifier and mirror the cube. Now add in another cylinder. Scale and position it. Add a subsurf modifier.
Select the top loop and make the main crease value 1. Add in a bevel modifier. Select the top edge loop. Press E and S and then scale it down. Press E and Z and extrude in Z direction. Add loop cuts at places to maintain the shape. Now add in a UV sphere. Position the bulb accurately. Make it the shape of a bulb. But selecting areas and moving them. Now tab out of edit mode. I will not be dealing with the materials as I have used only simple materials. I have only used the principled shader for all the materials and just played with the roughness value. Like the video, and leave a comment on what you wish to see in future videos, so do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like these. Also press the bell notifications icon to access my video whenever I upload them.